This is the story of Gregory Constant, a very inspiring man who against all odds fought to pave a road for himself and get an education in the United States. Gregory was born 1987 in the south of Haiti, where he grew up a healthy child as part of a poor but caring family. He was an only child for 15 years until his half-brother and sister were born. Gregory's entire life changed one day when he was 8 years old walking to school. He fell to the ground and became unconscious. When Gregory woke up, he couldn't feel his legs and was unable to walk. At 8 years old, Gregory found himself disabled and needing the support of his family more than ever. His mother was not around because she died three months after Gregory was born, and his single father did not have the means to support him with what he needed. Clueless as to what he should do, his father realized that he needed to seek help for Gregory who was in a lot of pain and immobile. They searched tirelessly and faced countless rejections from multiple hospitals in Haiti that were already overstrained, until finally, Gregory was able to be accepted at the pediatric hospital of a foreign NGO. The nurses had made note that Gregory was very intelligent. He managed to pick up languages very easily and oftentimes translated conversations between English foreigners and other patients. This hospital also included an orphanage, which took Gregory in and allowed him to continue his education there. As you can imagine, growing up in Haiti with such challenges had a profound impact on Gregory. He was told that he would not live for very long by doctors. He faced constant discrimination and bullying as the disabled people in Haiti are frequently outcasted. Gregory was in a very dark and lonely place, with a lot of stress about what his future looked like. Skilled with computers, Gregory assisted a nurse at the orphanage clinic. The nurse became his friend and helped Gregory see past his disability, letting his personalities and talent shine. He finally gained the confidence to socialize and deal with his stress in a healthier way. More importantly, he learned that his mind, motivation, and eagerness to learn could take him anywhere, regardless of his physical state. Gregory graduated from high school with high marks in 2009. His next goal was to study in a university, but Gregory had many challenges awaiting him. The orphanage refused to help him go to a university because they thought it'd be a waste of money. In Haiti, I grew up at an orphanage which provided me food and early education but there was something that I didn't like is that they didn't believe in my dream they thought that was gonna be a waste of money to send me to study abroad I felt very sad because I really wanted to to be a professional in my life because I always dream I always believe in education and universities in Haiti did not have access for disabled students. Just getting to and from school would have been impossible because of the non-existent handicap accessibility. The situation only became worse after the earthquake of January 12, 2010. In America, wow, when I came here, I saw that it's an amazing country. People love you. People support you. They believe in your dream. They care more about you. And I feel like it's an amazing country. It's a country of opportunities. I feel like it's a country where I can study. Gregory was determined to raise enough money to attend university in America. He worked by fixing cell phones and computers, selling his paintings and crafts, and becoming a musician. <laughs> working with Haitian artists. However, he knew it would be difficult to support himself this way. The only chance he had to support himself and his family was to attend university abroad and return with an education. When I was in Haiti, I had to use my money for seven years, which, which was an easy thing. When people told me, hey, you won't make it, especially because the Haitian currency is lower than the American currency. I never get discouraged because I, I, I believed in my dream. After seven years, I finally made it. What I did is that I, I, would, went, I would go to some club, 
to sing so that I can get donation. I appear in, in some TV show. Um, I would I would go to radio show and I, I appeared in the, one of the famous newspaper, newspaper in Haiti so that people can know me more. I never get discouraged. I made it anyway. Thanks God I'm here. Um, that's how I did fundraise my money. Within seven years, he finally fundraised enough money to go to Florida International University. He was accepted in 2015 and was able to go with the help of the Haitian government. Unfortunately, the Haitian government did not continue their financial support as promised. They refused to keep paying after their initial donation. With the help of many caring donors and a tuition scholarship, he was able to continue his English courses. Since then, Gregory has worked tirelessly to spread his story and garner support from the community and abroad. Now that he finally sees a realistic chance to start his studies, the challenges presented to him have left him without the ability to support himself financially, to cover his living expenses, seek proper medical care, and secure a reliable mode of transportation. Now, I'm really scared, especially because if I don't get enough money to pay college, um, I won't be able to get my diploma. And I really want to get a diploma because it's going to be much easier for me to get a job with a diploma. And it's going to be really, really difficult and worse if I don't have any diploma to get a job. Um, I don't know what the future is going to bring, but I have hope, I have faith that I'm going to find more support. I'm going to find people who's going to help me more. And I'm going to try to reach out to more people. I'm going to try to reach out more newspapers. And I'm going to, you know... Um, I don't know, but I hope that God is going to bless me and people is going to help me and support me so that I can continue to go to school here and to get my diploma before, go, before, I, before I go to Haiti. Because my dream is to go back to Haiti, um, um, support people that I need, and help my family. After passing Miami-Dade College's English entrance exam in December of 2016, he successfully applied to enroll for summer 2017 college courses. If he manages to secure the financial support he needs for that semester, he can have the chance to come back to FIU to complete a bachelor's degree in information technology. My dream is to become a technician in computers and also to become a famous singer as Justin Bieber and John Legend. Right now, I'm trying to reach out a lot of um, superstars so that they can help me to fundraise, contact a lot of newspapers, trying to find out, meet more people. And I especially would like to um, appear on Ellen show because I love her a lot. And there is a, also a comedian that I want, really want to meet, is Steve Harvey. I'd like to talk about Gregory. He was my student. He was very hardworking, very ambitious and it was a pleasure to have him in my class. Hi, I'm Julia Valdez, and I'm a neighbor of Gregory Constant. I notice Gregory all the time around the neighborhood, and I do my best to support him. He's a very intelligent young man with a lot of potential. I support Gregory all the time, and I wish that everyone will support him as well. Hi, my name is Sherman Humphrey, and uh, I'm pleased to tell you a little bit about my relationship with Gregory. I met Gregory back in 2009 while I was visiting Haiti uh, along with a buddy of mine um, to check out some uh, non-profit programs there that we were supporting. And just by coincidence, by chance, um, I happened to be at uh, Gregory's high school graduation. And I remember very well meeting him, uh, him coming up to me and very confidently introducing himself and I was just uh, struck uh, by him, um, his ability to communicate so well in, in English. And he actually sang at uh, his high school graduation in front of uh, several hundred people. Um, since then, we've kept in touch. Um, and I remember when he contacted me in 2015 about his plans to come study in the United States, uh, frankly, um, you know, I did not place uh, a lot of hopes in that happening, but 
Um, as Gregory, since moving to the US, US, has done many times, I was incredibly surprised that he was able, through his efforts, through his fundraising, through his outreach, and, and more than anything, through his ability to really connect with people and um, you know, tell his compelling story and, and, and share the dream that he has, um, he, he made it to the US. And um, you know, since then, it's really been a pleasure of mine to help him uh, with this dream, uh, wherever he can. Um, and, and Gregory serves as an inspiration to me. I mean, just the amount of people that he's been able to connect and get involved with, with his story and mission. And, and I truly hope that uh, you, uh, when you meet Gregory, will also considering consider doing your little bit to, to help him out with this big dream that he has of, of getting a university education. Thanks. Hi, this is Michael Brent. I just met Gregory Costa. Very, very inspiring story. Please make sure to check out his GoFundMe. GoFundMe slash MP Gregory and support the guys. Thank you. Gregory's father. Gregory needs your support. I have faith in him. Merci en plus du support not by Gregory. It's been a hard life for Gregory, but he has made it against all odds and he is happy with the United States and the opportunities that have been presented to him. Help Gregory achieve his dreams by donating to his GoFundMe page at gofundme.com educategregory.